All right, so this is a quick overview of our one of our new tools uh, for framing interior elevations. We call it Elevation Framer. Uh, this tool is for Revit 18, 19, 20, and 21 at this time. Uh, so the Elevation Framer tool is accessible through the Parallax tab under the Premium Tools panel. Uh, we'll just select the tool and it will load up a modeless dialog. That means that we can navigate Revit while the dialog is open. So that's really good to have. What it does is whenever the tool opens, it will pre-select sheets that have elevations on them. Your elevations, building elevations, or sections. Selecting a sheet will activate that sheet for you. Whenever you're within the sheet, we can see that we have two sections in this specific one. So we have this section through main stair in the sample model and this typical wall section. Uh, so what we can do is you can select or deselect which ones to override, select a line weight and hit apply. As you do that, you'll see that the crop region's activated and it's overridden. It's equivalent of right clicking and doing override in view. This gives the uh, elevation a uh, sort of frame around it that is responsive to if you do modify the crop region as well. If I did want to modify both, I can select both in the little checkbox, lower it and hit apply. Uh, so really quickly, we can navigate through and modify these viewports. The line weights we're able to select from are the standard Revit line weights, and you can modify them independent if you needed to as well. So it's a really quick way just to do this. Uh, this window is resizable as well. So if you have a lot of elevations on your sheet, you can pick and choose as you please. If you have more than one sheet with elevations, you can toggle and it will navigate through the sheets for you as well. Uh, so there it is, uh, the Elevation Framer tool for Revit from Parallax.